The interest rates are going up. The decision from the Fed made headlines last week, but why should you care? How does this impact you? That's the big question. Certified financial planner and our good friend Joe Burt is here this morning to talk more about it. Great to see you, Joe. Good morning, Amy. All right, so let's talk sure. first of all about why the Fed raised the rate. Obviously, we know it hasn't happened in a long time. What is the reason behind it? Well, they lowered it because we need. they felt that we need to stimulate the economy. You get more money pumped in the system, and that's the theory behind it. However, unfortunately, it hurt a lot of savers. They're raising the rate now because they're fearful of inflation. They're fear, you know, the con they feel the economy's where it needs to be. Um, uh, labor uh, is good where it is, mm -hmm. unemployment is good, and so they're thinking that this is the time to raise rates because we can't stay at this level forever. Okay, so what happens to a person when they have credit cards, a mortgage, they have all of these different things going on? Is there an impact across the board? Well, if you have a fixed rate mortgage, if you already locked it down, that rate is locked down for the length of the mortgage. But it's the adjustable rate mortgages, mm -hmm. it's home equity lines of credit, it's credit cards, uh, those kinds of of things are adjustable. If you have an auto loan, that's fixed for the period of loan, but if you're trying to get a new loan, chances are you pay, be paying more in interest. What can you do? Can you call your credit card company and say, hey, my interest rate just went up to 15%. What can I do? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> a lot of it has to do with your own credit score. Okay. And this is why we've talked in the past why your credit score is so important to you because that really determines the interest rate that you ultimately get. So if you're a good borrower, have a great credit score, you're not going to be as impacted as much as those people that are living on the fringe. All right. What are the benefits? benefits potentially of an interest rate hike. Are there people who could benefit? Well, ultimately in the long run, maybe. Okay. <laughs> and it really has to do with when the banks start paying more on savings and checking accounts and those, you know, it's been historically low. I mean, right. today the interest rates are so low that remember they used to give you a toaster when you... Oh yeah, the now, good old days. Now you have to give back the toaster <laughs> interest rates are so low. <laughs> but, but the reality is, is that uh, interest rates hopefully will go up, but it does, it's really not affected directly by what the Fed does because when the interest rates that the banks will pay you are competitive. So banks watch with other, it's kind of like the gas prices. Sure. One guy sees what the other one does and ultimately it begins to creep up. But when the Fed raises interest rates like it does now, it affects your borrowing of money, not what they're going to pay you on your savings and CDs. All right. Yeah. It's, it's fascinating. And you think that there'll be more in the coming year? They project three more next year. Okay. And, and for every for every uh, thousand dollars you have on a credit card, it's going to cost you another 25 bucks this year. Uh, over the course of next year. If you have 10000 that's $250. If they raise it three more times, that's another $1,000 that people are going to be paying for interest. Wow. It lot. adds up. It yep, sure, does. sure does. Joe, how can our viewers find you? Just Google me once again. Two words, Joe Burt, B-E-R-T. Always great to see Thanks, you. Amy. Every Monday, Joe Burt.